Okay, so I've now got Windows 11 running on my Raspberry Pi 5, so let's boot it up. And we get the same sort of boot as we had on the Raspberry Pi 4, and now it's starting to boot Windows 11. For sound, I'm using this little 99p USB sound card. For internet, I'm using this Android phone. I've got a separate video on how to use an Android phone to be your Wi-Fi for a device. Ignore the Ethernet cable, it doesn't do anything at the moment. And I'm booting from a little 4 gig SD card and the OS is on this 64 gig SD card. Nearly there. Okay, so let's pop my password in. And you can see it comes up with an error, so we can just say okay. And you can see I've tried to install Steam, didn't work, unfortunately. Um, I have, uh, you can see I've got the internet, I'm, I've got a bit of a workaround on that, but I'll show that in a longer video. If I start to play an MP3 file, let's just turn on my speaker. You'll see that the sound is working fine. So we can see 2.4 gigahertz, I'm running at stock speeds. Uh, here you go, I don't want it to do the, the Steam thing. I do need to just uninstall that or turn off uh, start when the system starts running. Uh, but you can see here Windows 11 Enterprise. Uh, if I go for actually info, it gives me more information. So if I start typing info, system information, and we get a bit more here. So Raspberry Pi Foundation, Raspberry Pi 5 Model B, WOR project version 0.2 from the 5th of January. So this has only just come out. Uh, it's not the same installation method as I usually use. I've had to uh, jump through a few hoops to get this working, but um, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad to be fair. Uh, eight gig of RAM you can see is on my Pi Four, and we've got board manufacturer Sony UK. Spotify you can see has started itself up. Uh, it's actually working fine. If I start to play a bit of a track, I can't play very much of it obviously because uh, of copyright reasons. But you can hear that's playing, uh, and it's nice and responsive. I was using Spotify to play some music last night. Uh, so things like the folders and everything, uh, all of that is working, albeit pretty slow. Uh, occasionally I'll cut things out of this to, to basically make the video a little bit more snappy. But you can see, uh, you know, various things I've been trying to install last night were showing up there uh, under Windows. Hill Climb Racing didn't work. Uh, we haven't got any GPU support. We haven't got any Wi-Fi or Ethernet, although I have uh, basically used an Android phone to give me Wi-Fi. I've got a separate video on that uh, if you're interested in how that works. Uh, it recognises external devices, so this is my USB stick plugged in. Actually, I've got some episodes of 24 on there, look. I wonder if they'll play. They're quite low res because they're ripped from DVD. But let's see what the media player does with that. Oh yeah, it's starting to play. Keep your eye on it for now. Yeah, it's playing. Maybe a little bit. Again, I can't, I can't really play much of that because uh, of copyright strikes. I don't want any of that. So if I start the web browser, and we go for, oh, let's accept this, and go for BBC Sport. Just have a quick look at that and see. The web browser actually is working reasonably well. Um, I'm using two SD cards to do this, an SD card for UEFI boot and an SD card to run the operating system in a USB slot. I should be using the uh, NVMe drive in the new EDATEC board I've got because that's got a PCIe connection and would be much quicker although you know there's lots of other bottlenecks like the GPU not working uh, but let's close this one down let's go to YouTube and just play a little bit of one of my videos I'm actually surprised it's working as well as it's working at this early stage but I'm just really pleased that it's being worked on there wasn't very many updates on the WR site but on the GitHub they are definitely working on it lots of questions being asked and answered and so on so let's, oh, I, th I meant to type in HDR there, HDR, scroll down, and let's click on that and just let it play a little bit. You can see the advert comes up straight away, not struggling with that. And it's playing the video. I never do a right click and stats for nerds. Uh, what's it running at? 894 by 503. It's running out. I guess we can try and go a little bit. Let's go with 720 and see if that... That's not bad. That's not dropping frames at 720. I wasn't expecting that with no GPU support at all. Uh, 1080.
Doesn't say it's dropping, oh, it says it's dropping a few frames. Not bad though, that's watchable. Anyway, I'll definitely do a longer video on this um, because I've only just got it to work, but, uh, and I'll show the method I've got to get it to work uh, and with internet as well, because obviously that's quite a key bit with an operating system. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.